electrical current through them, they'll be able to conduct electricity. So if you pass a current through electrolytes, it causes the ions to move to the electrodes. So the electrolyte is the liquid, the electrodes are the solids, the positive and negative solids that the electrolytes are attracted to. So positive ions attract to the negative electrode and that's called the cathode. And when it gets there, either oxidation or reduction takes place and elements are discharged. The negative ions, they attract to the positive electrode because they're attracted to the oppositely charged electrode. And that's called the anode. And again, elements are discharged. So what happens at each of the electrodes? That's what you've got to know. So let's start at the anode. At the anode, the negative ions are attracted. When they get there, they lose electrons. Electrons are lost. Remember oil rig? Oxidation is lost. So oxidation takes place at the anode, the positive electrode. That means non-metal elements are discharged. Now, if there are halide ions in solution, it will be the halogen that's given off, the element halogen that's discharged. But if there isn't a halide ion there, then it's the oxygen gas that's given off at the electrode, at the anode. So at the cathode, the positive ions are attracted to the, the, to the cathode. The electrons are gained at the cathode. And you know from oil rig, reduction is gain. So reduction takes place. That means metal atoms are discharged or hydrogen. And the rule goes like this. If the metal ions in solution are more reactive than hydrogen, then hydrogen is discharged. But if the metal ions in solution are less reactive than hydrogen, then the metal ions are discharged. So let's think of some examples of that. Sodium. If sodium ions are in solution, then hydrogen is discharged because sodium is more reactive than hydrogen. So if copper ions are in solution, then copper atoms are discharged because hydrogen is more reactive than copper. Remember oil rig. Oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. And here's another little acronym to, for you to remember. In an exam, don't panic, but remember panic. Panic stands for this, the positive anode, the negative is the cathode. Positive anode, negative is cathode. Don't worry about electrolysis, you can do it. Keep watching these videos to grow your confidence.